What kind of pour spout should I use? Okay, spouts. We're getting a lot of emails asking about what kind of speed spouts to use, or slow pours, or fast pours. What is the difference? Well, it really depends on your purpose. Right? Every bar is different. We try to get across to you the concept of there's very few right and wrong black and white ways to do things in this industry. There's all sorts of different ways to do that. Right? It just depends on what works for you personally, for your bar, for your clientele, your culture. I mean, it's a big industry all over the world, so don't think, take anything for granted. I'll give you a couple examples. Uh, United States, big on free pouring. Right? So they generally use one of these. Right? So it's a metal, uh, this is very popular, it's a metal uh, slow pour. So it's actually straight and it comes out straight, which is nice. Right? But it's also easier to control. So they have basically a four count. Right? When you take it out and you pour it, one, two, three, four. Right? And that's how, the, how they do it there. It's also very uh, popular for competitions because not as much comes out. So it's a lot of easier to control that. So that's one thing. Right? Some places are maybe, they don't want to use that. Some places, uh, for instance, a lot of places in Canada, you actually have to use a shot glass. Right? So there's a, there's a debate going on in the world about what's better, what's faster. What's better? Again, it really depends on your situation. But what's faster? Well, no question, for this particular spout, it's going to come out fast because it's actually a speed point. If you can notice the difference here, right, it's just going to come out faster. So if I'm going to be free pouring, I don't want free pouring out of this because it's very hard to control. But if you're using a shot glass, it's very quick. But again, that's up to you. Now when you get into actually using juices, we talk about juice in the bottles, use this. You want it coming out fast, you want it coming out straight. All right? For instance, uh, here's another one, uh, which is plastic, and there's a couple types of plastic. We, we have these on our, uh, our flare bottles that we sell. Now, these are good to practice with, and I don't know, I've never been a big fan of having these in actual bars. I don't think it really looks classy enough. Uh, there's some other options you can go to make it look a little better, but maybe cost is a factor too, so you need to look into that. Um, also, if you're flipping, I don't want to have this because it's going to come out at an angle. So if you're flipping the pour, uh, it could cause some problems that way. Now here's another one uh, that came out of a, uh, a company. Uh, uh, what is the company called? Uh, Posi Pour? Um, we'll get to you in a second. We'll put it on the screen. Uh, they sent me a box of these, and if you can see, this is a ball bearing in this. Uh, two ball bearings, actually. Apparently, they're really good. Certainly, it's a, it's a nice looking product. Um, I've never really been a fan of them up until now, and I haven't tested them out yet, so uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let you know what I think when I get there. But uh, I think for a high speed place, for a, for a high volume, I'm not a big fan of this because it's going to slow down a little bit. Standing, stopping, right? Same thing with the actual uh, with liquor on the gun. It's a little bit slower than, uh, than when you're using a spout. Also, the other thing that I really have for it, it kind of takes out the skill, the style a little bit from, from the bartender. So um, I never really like that as much. I want to see someone who's really in control of their bar. Uh, also, if you're doing uh, like say liquor out of the gun, well, the customer isn't seeing what exactly is being poured. There's some distrust in that fact uh, because a lot of people have the, the really lousy liquor uh, that come out of the gun. And sometimes it can actually be changed. Those guns can be changed from a full ounce to even uh, 0.8 of an ounce, 0.9 of an ounce. So sometimes there's, there's not that trust. So, so a lot of things you, you can look into depending on, on how you want to pour your stuff. Kind of management decision to some point. But really ultimately it comes down to your pour and the alcohol. What do you feel comfortable with? So it really depends on your situation.